Let's identify some gear review fallacies. Everything's about lighting in your mind, by the way. In case you think, you're concentrating too much on gear lately. It's just one of those things, you know? 3,800 videos, sometimes I'll get a roll on something. Get, get on a roll on something. Identifying gear review fallacies. Blind praise. I think, do we, do we all know what, like, blind praise is? I love it. I just got it. It's wonderful. You know, okay, you just got it. You've had it for 24 hours. You love it. Great. Shoot with it for a couple of weeks and let me know if it's, you know, you find some termites or some hepatitis on uh, the uh, taint of that camera. <laughs> sponsored praise. I think we all know what sponsored or corporate praise. Ah, like someone's pulling the strings like a puppet. Do we know what corporate praise is or sponsored praise? Yeah, I think you do. You speak English, you know what I'm talking about. Limited experience. Like, I'm on two cameras and this is my new camera. It's the best camera in the world. Okay, as there's some useless help. You just got recommended something by somebody that doesn't have much experience, which is okay. We know you like it, but ultimately you're, yeah. False analogies. I see people comparing things that are just ridiculous. Like, is Nikon. And I don't like the D5 either, but for different reasons. Like, the Nikon D sucks. I took a landscape picture, and, and the D5 has got an AA filter. It's only 20 megapixels. It's perfectly adequate for a lot of stuff. But, you know, yeah, that camera sucks for landscapes. The right tool for the right job. FX is best for most things. I've had a lot of people say, FX is best, period. It's like, no, it's not. The reason National Geographic and hardcore wildlife photographers are using $20,000 lenses on $500 D D7100 bodies is because the pixel pitch and the translational information is very high on those cheap DX cameras. So, that's not true. Clickbait reviews. Never done a clickbait video. I've been accused of making a few clickbait videos, but I've never consciously pre-thought, I'm going to make a clickbait video, yeah. Never done that. Clickbait reviews. Clickbait, yeah. We know what that is? Yeah, clickbait, yeah. Hype and fanboy reviews. Ah, oh, I'm a fanboy. It's the latest camera from my favorite company. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hype and fan. Social media hype is where people get together to have a, a group mooing contest or a bunch of sheep, you know, sheep herding. Bah, bah. Like lemmings off a cliff. If you have enough followers around you, then you're the best and whatever you say. Yeah, uh, it's just like a cult. A cult, kind of like, let's take like a, a crazy cult invented by a science fiction writer. And the, you know, <laughs> we know what I'm talking about. You know which cult I'm talking about. Uh, this cult is famous for like suing people and intimidating people uh, into submission and silence. So you get enough crazy followers around, you can say anything. You're protected, you're insulated against the truth. You could say something stu if you have this is amazing, this is herd mentality. If you got enough crazy subscribers around you, you could say the most insane, illogical, unwise, unintelligent, nonsense, and pooey. And people are like, You're right, yeah, you slow right, yeah, I agree with you. Oh, you know how that works? Herd mentality. Moo. <laughs> um I don't even have a Facebook account. I don't have an Instagram account. I'm like old school. You know what old school means? That means you have business cards and you have a reputation and people are like, man, he does good work. That's all I care about. I'm not, you know, you like, well, YouTube is social media. I don't elicit work from, uh, from YouTube. You know, I don't have any workshops either. And I don't sell anything. People are all the time asking me to sell them one of my lenses. I don't do that stuff. I've never sold anybody anything. Not photography related anyway. Um, so, identifying gear review fallacies. Blind praise, sponsored praise, corporate praise, limited experience, false analogies, clickbait reviews, hype and fanboy reviews, right? And social media hype. I'm going to tweet about this. I'm going to Instagram. This is my review of all the... Oh, Lord. I hate Facebook. I'm never going to join Facebook. All these photographers, they like 
they they photobomb everybody. They're nonsense. Like, yeah, subscribe to me. Uh, like my pic. Oh lord. I don't believe in social media nonsense. Well, that's how I get my name out. Yeah, too much photography is social media hype. If you do a really good job and you got a business card, you will get more business than you dare hope. You will. That's happened to a lot of people. I've told that about, and they eventually got in there. And they, they listen to my tips and tricks on lighting. And uh, now they, they I got one. They tell me I got a problem now. What's the problem? Well, I, I've got, I, I can't, I have no time to do anything. I just get calls. People want me to come out and shoot this and shoot that. And now I have to be selective on who I take pictures for. Why the hell would you want to be on social media? When you're getting more work than you can handle by understanding lighting and doing a good, intelligent, honest job, the hell do you need social media hype for? I know what the hell social media is there for. I can't stand it. I don't have time for it. Like YouTube is social media. Talk about Instagram and Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Whew. This world is absolutely bat crap crazy. People are insane. Everybody's jockeying on this nonsense. It's ridiculous. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Bum, 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 bum.